October date and November launch. It's gonna happen. What else came out? More news. Possible location of the Dragon Isles. I didn't even realize that we don't even know where the Dragon Isles are yet. Everybody has been playing the Alpha. Good morning, Elucian. Everybody's been playing the Alpha, and they haven't even revealed to us where the hell the island is, where the Dragon Isles are on the map of, of Azeroth. Well, it looks like they finally did. Uh, with Dragonflight Beta starting today, which was yesterday, the boat the Dragon Isles might have just revealed the location on Azeroth's map. That's fucking far up, I'm not gonna lie. That's further than I thought. I thought it'd be right off the the Isles of uh, Kualdanas. Like, right up in here, right up in this space. But it's pretty far. If that's That might be a placeholder. That might not actually be where the Dragon Isles are in relation to the Eastern Kingdoms and Northrend. Uh, but as of right now, when you take the boat, this is what the map shows. So while there is no landmass yet, this location could be simply be a placeholder or purposely situated on the off the map. Though it is not unreasonable to believe the Dragon Isles are in such a remote location, you w and it would be interesting, uh, an interesting departure from the close proximity of the past few new newly discovered landmasses in Azeroth. Yeah, so I mean, the Dragon Isles have been undiscovered all this time. It, they definitely could be that far up north. They could be. Uh, I mean, uh, story and legend has it that it was, you know... It was off the tip of Eastern Kingdoms, just the tip, off the tip, um, but hey, it could be that far up north, maybe. I didn't even realize we didn't know where the Dragon Isles were yet, but here we are, and uh, and it looks like this is where the current placeholder is in game. Just the tip, easy, yeah. I pre-ordered and don't have beta. Yeah, I pre-ordered too, Lucian. I don't have beta either. It's okay. Shit happens. Again, if you're in queue, let me know. Let me know. Yo, I'm in queue. You're a girl. Yes, gotcha. Gotcha. Unreal. Okay, more news. More news, more news, more news. I told you guys the fucking news came in hot and heavy yesterday. Dragonflight HUD and UI revamp blue post. This HUD UI revamp, I mean, look at the look at the way the HUD looks here, right? The way you can edit it. It looks a lot like the way I currently play. Right? With my add-ons. Like, I have the little HUD here, you know, with my main abilities and shit so I can see cooldowns. I got my shit right here. My character right here. My targets pop up right here. I mean, Blizzard really took notes on this stuff. And the HUD, I think, whether I'm going to be using the HUD or I'm still going to be using add-ons, I might not do either exclusively. I might use both. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you don't need to pre-order to get beta. That's true. That's true. And, uh... There, there is, there is, you know, there's no rule that says you still can't use add-ons once this stuff comes in. Um, but it's cool. It's cool. So get ready for a fresh-looking, heads-up display. User interface revamped as a, a design to adjust the effective and attractive, to be more adjustable, effective, attractive, and easily accessible. So I mean, it, it looks, it looks nice. It looks nice, right? It's very adjustable. All this stuff can be changed. And it's not only the HUD. It's it's bags, too. You no know, more bag on, on needed, right? You can have separate bags or combine your bags. Um, that stuff, they, they basically taken, you know, the most popular UI add-ons and HUD add-ons and stuff and put them into the game, which is good. Not, not necessarily for us who play World of Warcraft 24-7 nonstop. We're like crack addicts, but... For all the guys and gals who are coming into the game fresh. Because, I'm not going to lie, every person that I've introduced to the game, getting them introduced to add-ons is one of the hardest things for them. Especially if you've never played a game that used add-ons before. When I started playing WoW, WoW was the first game ever that used add-ons for me. So getting people into Curse, you know, uh, get the Curse uh, Forge client all that stuff, and download your add-ons, and and deal with that shit, and oh, a patch dropped, you gotta update your add-ons, like, that kind of stuff really throws new players off. So, to have more integrated into the game just creates a better experience, especially for new players, so that's why I think this is a really good thing. Uh, make it your own. Welcome to the edit mode. With edit mode, you will now have the ability to tweak, personalize, and move almost anything anywhere to your heart's desire. Not only uh, are various elements of the HUD movable, but each individual component has a variety of options to help you get everything just right. 
So, I mean, here you see, like, look at that. The system here is he's moving the grid bars, right? He can, oh, look at that. He can make them little, a little square of abilities. Holy shit, yeah, spacing adjustments, size adjustments. This is extremely customized. I might use this just for the buff frame. That's really nice. That's cool stuff, though. And I'm, you know, this might seem minor to some people, but to me, this is a big addition to the game. And a welcome addition to the game, for sure. Well, one of my ads was for Lich King Classic. That's fun. Man, add-ons are easy nowadays. Back in the day, yes, this is true. So, yeah, Amaraz, when I started playing, and I got introduced to add-ons... I'm going to fast-forward this real quick. Um, when I got introduced to add-ons, I had to, you know, find the folder, drag and drop, all that shit. That's very true. Add-ons have become much easier thanks to the uh, Curse Forge client and stuff. But still, it's something that you got to introduce new players to, and, and a lot of them are like, what, what if I download a virus or something, you know? Put more in the game, it's just better. Now, once you've set everything up how you'd like it, you'll be able to name, save, edit, copy, and share with, with the community. That's cool. I didn't even know this. Holy crap. So you'll be able to create like a Blood DK layout, load it up to the community, and then people can download it if they play Blood DK. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> and for those uh, that change specs often, the feature designed to remember which specialization you are in. And switching between specs will feature, will remember the HUD layout you were for that spec and change accordingly. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Uh, will this new feature replace the ability to use third-party add-ons entirely? Not at all. Yeah, that's what I, you wanted to see, right? You don't want to see them completely disable add-ons. I've been comfortable with my add-ons. I'm probably going to continue to use them. It's it's great that, the, again, this is in the game, but it's not going to be forced on you. You can definitely keep doing your add-ons. Um, what else? Looking ahead. let us lay waste to this realm. Shem Dill, thank you for the follow, and welcome to our scourge, my man. Welcome to our Scourge. Or girl. Yup, and you can customize it between classes and specs. Yeah, that's very cool. Very cool. Looking ahead, um, additional edit modes, group manager, raid frames, quest tracker, and more updates to the art. Very cool. We'll have more information and details and other features as we move towards the launch of Dragonflight. We look forward to getting your feedback. Great stuff. I'm sure we're going to see more of this coming out. Um throughout the Dragonflight beta right now. They're, I'm sure they're going to be working on this stuff. And I think it's been, a, it's been a great move by them to actually get this stuff in the game. 